All right, tools for today's job, we got our drill, our pedals, and drill bit. And then obviously, if you have a source of lighting, uh, that'd be great. This is my Ice Light 2. I use this for light painting for uh, photography work, so that, that works as well. So we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna go inside the car. I guess I'll just take my light for now, and I'll show you what we're dealing with. So the only thing I haven't really touched on this car is the, uh, the pedals, right? The pedals are OEM. They look kind of beat, to be honest, and uh, I need to replace them. So check that out. This is the OE pedal. They're rubber, I mean, nothing fancy there. You just take those guys out and the dead pedal on the left side right here. We're gonna drill it and then just bolt it down. All right, just for security, we're gonna tape up our nice panel here. We don't wanna scratch up this nice stainless. Um, most of you guys who have followed me for a while know that I love my blue tape, so. Uh, what is the saying? You guys remember? You ready? Tape is cheap, paint's expensive. In this case, not really paint, but this finish. All right? So we're gonna cover this up real quick and continue. All right? Biggest thing you wanna take care of is, is like automotive finishes. Uh, stuff like your side skirt right here. Uh, when you're working on the car, when you're in and out, sometimes you end up kicking the, the panel right here or you end up dropping a bolt, a screw, a socket, whatever. Anything could happen. So what I usually do when I'm working on whatever spot, I look at what could happen and I try to avoid it. Or, you know, at least I try to prevent it uh, because it sucks when you have to fix certain things. Like the other day, I dented my Cayman hood because I dropped the bottle on it, but the bottle was like six feet away and just ended up hitting it. It was like final destination for my Cayman. <laughs> All right, so now we're good. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a, like a pillowcase. We're gonna set it down on the, on the floor mats right here to catch all the shrapnel and whatnot when we drill the pads. Here's our pillowcase. Doesn't need to be black, but uh, for the sake of seeing shrapnel, it's gonna be black. All right, there we go. We could always clean up after. All right, so that's good. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pull off the old, uh, what is this? Old pedal covers, I guess. All right. And they're just rubber. And these things are pretty old. All right, so here's what we've got. Pretty sure that's the dead pedal. One of these guys could be the brake. One could be the clutch. This one's obviously the gas pedal. You can't really screw this up because they, <laughs> they look exactly like what they should. So this guy goes right here. You can see that the, uh, the holes match the holes on the existing uh, Miata pedal right there. This guy right here has got no holes. So this one, you kind of have to just figure out where you want it. All right. We're going to drill three holes on this. So as you can see right here, one, two, and three. So uh, we're going to just center that. And then the dead pedal is like the easiest thing in the world because it literally just goes like so. All right. Now you can get any colors, whatever you want. Uh, I kind of like this because it looks like raw aluminum. You could polish it or whatever, whatever you want. Uh, you just hit it with metal polish, mother's billet polish. You could do Meguiar's or, you know, whatever you want. I just want it kind of silverish. All right, as you can see, I've already done the other side right here. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to fit these uh, pedals. So we're gonna add blue tape so we can see what we're doing. Fold the corners like so. Okay, so we're gonna find the center and it's gonna be about three quarters to the center. All right, so got our inch, inch, okay, good. Got our three quarters right here. And then three quarters up top. Okay, then going to draw a line connecting both to find our center. 
wherever the center is, wherever the center. Okay. There you go. That looks about right. We draw a line straight down. Find our center. Okay. Now just verify. Three quarters left. Okay. Three quarters there. Okay, good. And then from the bottom up, I've kind of just measured where I want. So it's like half an inch or so. All right, once we have that set, we're gonna take our center punch right here. All right, we're gonna center punch that bottom hole. There you go. So center punch there, center punch there. That way, when we pop this on, we can put a bolt through there and then I'm gonna use a uh, angle finder and make sure that the angle is proper. And then I'm gonna uh, mark the next two lines. All right. All right, so we take the first pad right here. We're just gonna test fit it. Put one bolt in and the nut in the back just to test fit, okay? So that looks good. All right, so I got this angle finder and it's calibrated to the proper, uh, I guess, pitch of the car left to right. And then we're just gonna get this to zero and then we can draw our line. And this will make sure that we're perfectly plumbed. Okay. Not sure if you could see that bouncing back and forth, but it's, it's doing it. It's doing its thing. So it looks like it found a center. So I'm going to draw it here real quick before I lose it. Okay. Okay, it's one. Like I said, this is an impact gun that I used <laughs> for drilling. You can actually drill with an impact gun. Uh, it's, it, it works. No issues. Okay. Nice and pretty. Okay, now we just test fit again. One there. One up here. Or two up there. Okay. There you go. All right, next we're gonna do the dead pedal. That's this side. This thing doesn't really do much. All you have to do is kind of line this up. All right, make sure it's perfectly leveled. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, this feels great. It's right on there. I'm just gonna blow one hole in the center right here to hold it in place for now. Okay. Then I'm gonna put one screw, like so. All right. Then we're just gonna drive that in real quick. I know some of you guys probably can't see what I'm doing. Sorry, right. you'll see it after. Okay. One screw at a time. Okay, good. Then we do a last one, the corner right here. Now, if you're picky like me, you're gonna wanna watch how these things are situated, the, uh, the Phillips, all right? I like to match them left to right, top to bottom. Make sure that they're perfectly even. So if it looks like a cross, make it look like a cross. Don't make it look like, like one's an X, one's a cross or whatever. So I'm just gonna correct the angle here real quick. All right, last part will be the gas pedal. As you can see, these things have holes on them, kinda looks like the gas pedal itself. So I'm just going to 
mark right on the pedal itself because it's plainly visible from my angle. Oh, whoa, the light just fell. Some of you guys are probably blind right now because you can't see what I'm doing. Or, hey, it doesn't look too bad actually. Oh, God, yeah. All right, here's the final product. This took about 30 minutes to do. Uh, if you measure three, four, five times and drill once, you should be okay. Now, if you have any questions, just hit me up. Uh, I should be able to help you out. But if you want a set of these things, just get it from Moss. And uh, that's pretty much it. Simple and easy, quick video for today.